Hey everybody, it's Carly here, and I thought I would take you along today. It's going to be my first trip to the craft store since, you know, all this COVID stuff start started. I've got my gloves and my masks. I keep extras in my car. As you guys know, I'm a real estate agent, so I've been using a lot of these. So, I'm excited. Uh, client gave me a gift card to Michael's. I think I put it in my purse. Double check. Yeah. So, um, I thought I would go and check out the stores, but I really, one of my main purposes for going out today, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a long time. And we've been working in the yard. Tim and I have I can put some lotion on. By the way, this is a really good lotion. I love this sweet citrus um we've been working a lot in our yard and we added a couple flower beds and stuff but i wanted to get some wind chimes um to hang and uh i think hobby lobby has them on sale right now so that was the reason why i thought i'd go uh they've been on sale i've been wanting them for a while now and once hobby lobby opened back up i kept putting it off putting it off putting it off and I thought, since I have the gift card for Michael's, I would go to Hobby Lobby. I may go into Tuesday morning. Um, you know, for those that you uh, may have not heard already, Tuesday mornings are starting to close. 132 stores around the country. I'm lucky that in North Carolina, I think only one has been posted to be closed, set to close. Um, I'm hoping that they can rebound so we have to band together crafters and save our tuesday morning and we probably should start something to say we need to start something on youtube um because i think all of our spending could have a, a major impact on their financial health <laughs> of tuesday morning so i may go in there um trying to be good one thing that COVID has taught me is to be smarter about my spending use what I have I've been making cards I'll have to share that with you guys um, as a realtor I send out a lot of cards I'm a, and on my project right now is I am farming a neighborhood and getting to know people and trying to help them not only with real estate but with uh, vendors for uh, getting their house fixed painters you know roofers all that kind of stuff and then helping people it's a great time to refi right now um, so I've been helping people that way, just kind of being their go-to home expert type thing, coming from contribution and really just trying to help people. And there's just a lot of, makes me feel good when I can help somebody. So, um, that part has been paying off tremendously, tremendously, not for, you know, me personally, but I just, again, helping people. So where was I going with that? I don't even. Oh, making cards so I've been making cards and um, I live in a community that has about 625 homes don't know that I'll send all 600 but I've got about 200 of a card made they're very simple um, obviously making that many um, so but it's just you know just a, a reach out to people in my neighborhood a lot that I know a lot that I don't know just to let them know that I'm here should they need anything. So I'll have to share those with you. I haven't, I don't think I've shown those yet. So hope you guys are all doing well. Gosh, four minutes already. I need to shut up and drive. So I'm going to turn this off and um, let's see. Should I go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels? I know Hobby Lobby's open. I think Michaels is open. Let's go to Hobby Lobby since that was my real, real reason for going out today. I don't have client showings. Well, I may have one later this afternoon. Um, so, we'll see. But it's finally a great sunny day. It's been raining a lot here in North Carolina. I thought we would need a row, row, row boat when I was out showing homes and taking pictures for a new listing. I took three new listings this week. And I've got another one next week. So, yay. All right. Let's go shopping. Coming into the Hobby Lobby. just opened and look there's already a crowd all right hobby lobby 
Hobby Lobby. Glad to see you back. Well, you've been open for a while, but. Okay, so I just pulled up to the Hobby Lobby. It's a nice crowd already. I'm gonna get my gloves on and walk inside and check it out. I know a lot of people have been showing hauls from Hobby Lobby for a little bit and have gotten a lot of good deals on spring stuff, but again, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna go straight to what I came here for and then I'll check out, of course, the craft department. So, get my little mask and head inside. When I wear a mask, I like to wear gum. I mean, <laughs> I like to chew gum, so. All right, the new normal of going shopping in the craft department. All right, I'm ready. Let's go inside. All ready, Hobby Lobby. Y'all are getting out the fall stuff right next to the 4th of July stuff. Goodness gracious. We just missed the whole season, didn't we, guys? I see a lot of orange stickers around. So, yep. I'm gonna head to, ooh, all this stuff's on sale. The wind chimes. Hopefully they still have some. So, there are the wind chimes. All this summery stuff. 50% off, isn't that cute? Alright, maybe they have. Hopefully, they have some left. If not, they got a lot of cute stuff, so I'm gonna get looking. I spy with my little eye Christmas in May. Goodness gracious. Yes, I so see a lot of stuff on clearance. I hope they still have some. Wind chimes, they are wiped. Rugs. Some really cute things. Alright, I'm on the hunt for wind chimes. All this stuff is just totally good. Goodness gracious, there's a cute little wagon. Adorable. I love these. Okay. Pretty little rugs. I like this one. Wow. Okay. So where I thought the wind chimes were, they are not. Love that. Reminds me of the beach. All right. Let's see. Love that. There's some garden stuff. Please let there be some wind chimes left. Maybe out of luck, guys. anything. Alright, I'm going to put the phone down and see if I can find some wind chimes. There are none that I see. Just Easter stuff. Alright. Craft section's down there. Yay! They still have Easter stuff. They still have Easter stuff, but no wind chimes. Oops. So, very cute. Oh, those are really adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the hunt. Okay, so no luck with wind chimes just yet, but I'm seeing a lot of clearance stickers all over the store. All over. So, if you're shopping for home stuff, they're everywhere. All right, still gonna look for some wind chimes. Well, I finally found some wind chimes. That's about all they have. Some down on the end are more expensive than others. So I'm gonna take a deeper look in these and get a couple. One of those down there is 50 bucks. I'm not going that expensive. We'll see. They do have some cute things, though. Love these little banners. Looks cute. Very cute. A little wind chime. 
tucked in behind there. Oh, that's a cute little rainbow. So, this is what I'm seeing. That's all that's left. Yeah. All that's left. So I'm gonna take a look. These do sound pretty. But they are regularly 60, so they'd be 35. That's a lot. So, they do sound pretty though. Okay, let me make a decision. Okay, guys. Whew. It's hot wearing that thing. So, I just got out of Hobby Lobby. Very crowded. I tried to shoot some video. I tried to stay out of people's way, so I kind of stopped because it's getting really crowded in there. Um, but I was shocked at how much stuff was gone. I mean, I know they've been open for a couple of weeks, but the shelves were were very um, bare in a lot of places. Ended up not getting anything in the craft department. Nothing was on sale, and nothing really spoke to me. Um, so, I just, I did get a Flamingo Pretty Pillow, and I'll do a haul and show you, even though it's not really craft related. I got three wind chimes, and um, a couple other little goodies for some crafty friends, and that's about it. A little decorative plate I might put in my bathroom. I had a bunch of other stuff, and again, trying to be good, put quite a few things back. So, Tuesday morning is across the street. Haven't been there in a long time either. I'm just trying to think the last time I was here at Hobby Lobby. I mean, Hobby Lobby. I think it was, um, gosh, I think it's been end of January, early February. So, and Tuesday morning, probably about the same. So, I'm going to go over there and see if they have anything and then end my little shopping spree at Michael's to use my little gift card. We head there to Tuesday morning. So just across the street is my Tuesday morning. We have three in my area. Two in my area, three. Three Hobby Lobbies, two Tuesday mornings. And then a couple that are not too far. So I'm gonna go in and see what they've got. Okay guys, so I just got out of Tuesday morning. Sanitize and lotion my hands. Not a whole lot new in the store. I did talk to the ladies in there. Glad to see them. They just opened up, I think, this past Monday. And they're really, really happy to be back. I told them we're going to try to rally to support them. And a lot of the people I was telling her that were in line behind me were like, yeah, we did the save Tuesday morning stuff. It's kind of cool. So I only got three little small things. A little house mouse stamp. A little butterfly stamp by um, Bo Bonnie. And then one of the... We are Memory Keepers Press. I can't remember the name of it. Um, little plates. So I'm going to head to Michael's. It's starting to get hot out there. I'm wearing this mask and gloves. It's um, really, really wearing on me. So um, we've had rain all week. Our little bodies aren't used to all this beautiful sunshine that we have today. So I'm going to head over to, Michael, to Michael's and see. I don't really need anything. I just thought since... Hobby Lobby's across the street, Tuesday morning's here, Michael's across the street, and that other plaza. So I thought, since I'm here, save the gas, head in, and then see if there's anything that I can pick up with my um, gift card. So, on to Michael's. Okay, so now it's time to go into Michael's. I just pulled in the spot because my phone rang while I was pulling in. So I'm going to head into Michael's. Okay guys, whew, that took a lot longer to get to that line. I snapped a picture. I'll try to remember to insert it. Whew, the store wasn't too bad until you went to get in line and then I kind of like circled around a little bit to let it go down and it wasn't going down. They only had two people working the registers. So yeah, the, the line was through the little corral, down, all the way back in front of the registers and then starting to build halfway down that front aisle. Oh my gosh. Whew. I, that mask was making me sweat. I thought I was going to 
pass out at one time, but then I guess I got in the path of where the door was opening, so I started cooling off. I thought I'd be like super red, but I'm not. But yeah, um, didn't buy a whole lot. I'll, I'll do a haul when I get back. Um, got one pad of paper and almost got one of the pack, the super packs of the 200 card stock. They had bright colors. And I said, no, let me go home and assess what I have. And then, you know, they put this on sale all the time. So I was looking at the buy one, get two free paper pads, those hot buys. And none of them, I didn't see any of the cute ones. I've seen some other people haul. So I passed by those. I did find something hidden in there. I could show you guys that real quick. I didn't put these in them trunk. So I found this one by Die Cuts with a View, which I don't think they carry this that much. This is probably just a hidden gem. Um, this is 2017 on it. It's called Good Eats. And I remember seeing this one, I think, a while ago. But I don't know about you guys, but like our community and a lot of businesses have been doing food trucks. And I just thought this would be fun. It's got waffles and tacos and barbecue type um, papers, donuts, just kind of fun ice creams, cotton candy, and I thought with summer coming up, this might be fun to do something, you know, fun with it. So, I'll do a flip through, just real bright colors, yeah, so when I get back home, there's pickles, I guess so, and just ice creams, just there's the food trucks, just come, and then some cut aparts. This is double sided, so we'll do a deeper dive into that a little bit later. I'm gonna stop off and see my daughter, their store. She works a little clothing store, um, and they had their opening today, so I'm gonna stop by and see her and then head back home. So, all right, guys, I will cool off and turn the air up. So, I'll be back and share with you what little bit of goodies I got. Okay guys, so now it's time to see what I did pick up from Hobby Lobby, then Tuesday morning, and then finishing off at Michael's. And oh my gosh, the line at Michael's was so long. It took me 35 minutes to get through the line, I think. So look at this cute pillow. Look at the pretty flamingos. I love this pillow. It's normally $19.99 and all the spring shop was 60. I wish I could have found another one, um, but I was happy. Isn't that just so pretty? All the bright, bright pinks and corals and oranges. And it kind of reminds me of like working with distressed oxides or distressed inks. Isn't that beautiful? So it's got, oh, I just love it. I can't wait to add that. I've got another pillow here in my room. Um, so that'll join my little collection of flamingos. Okay, so a couple other things that I picked up. One thing I'm not going to show because it's for a friend. I did, a lot of the store had a lot of orange stickers, but nothing in the craft store. But I picked this up um, to add to my letterboard uh, little accessories. It's called Gir Girl Boss. It's regularly $8.99. I got it for $2.24. And here's all the things. Got a pair of lips, goals, some um, eyes, boss, and hustle. So I thought Carly might like that so I got that and look at this really cute plate I almost got a couple of more it's showing a little darker than what it actually is but it's so pretty I got this to put in my bathroom I thought it'd be fun and pretty to put just have you know something on the sink to just you know when you take your jewelry off or something I just love that color so I got that and the reason why I went there I'm sorry about the noise because I was able to find and I was on the hunt a couple of sets, and the guy was so nice, he wrapped them up very nicely um, there. And Hobby Lobby has it together, too. They have plenty of people in the register, people in the store helping. Um, everybody was very well behaved. Um, Michael's was not quite that way. They only had two registers open at Michael's. So I'm sorry about the noise. So I went ahead, and I didn't get the most expensive. They had some really nice ones. Um... But I got this one again. These were all half off, so this one was twenty-seven ninety-nine plus half off. So and it sounds really pretty. 
Ooh, not like that again. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to be hanging these up with Tim's help. I got that one. That's the larger one. Then I found this one. And of course, I don't want to keep making all that noise. This one was $19.99, so it was only $10. The bag. One year I'll get some really, I like the wood ones. They had a couple of wood ones, <clears throat> but I decided not to get those. And this one was $17.99. So it's a bit pricey, I guess, for really what it is. This one has a beautiful butterfly as the dangle. So I don't want to make all that noise, but you can see there's three different sounds to those. So that's everything that I got at Hobby Lobby. Not much. Um, didn't buy anything really crafty because there wasn't a whole lot that um, caught my eye. Then I made my way to Tuesday morning and only picked up three things. Um, the ladies were glad to be back. It was so nice to see them. One was still on vacation, so I didn't get to see Tina. Um, and hopefully they'll start getting more trucks in. And we talked a little bit about trying to save Tuesday morning. So guys, us YouTube crafty community really needs to band together to try to save Tuesday mornings and hopefully they'll pull out of whatever financial distress they're in. Okay, so um, I did find this cute little house mask and I didn't have this one. Isn't it cute? It's called Warm Cup. Isn't he adorable? So I thought he would be um, a lot of fun to use with some of my coffee or tea stamps. I thought that was cute. So I got that. It was only $2.49. And I got this bow bunny. I've seen this one there before and I've always passed it up. But I went ahead and got it because I love using butterflies and it'll make me, it will make some quick cards. It was $2.99. And I can use the different pieces to create all different types of butterflies. So you get a larger one and a little bit smaller one. So got that. And then I went ahead and picked up another letter pl press plate set because it had um, the map. With all the states. And I thought this would be a lot of fun to use in um, like travel journals or I want to do a journaling, a journal of trips and stuff that we take. So if you haven't seen these before, let me open this up. They're plates. You can use these in your um, regular Sizzix or Big Kick machines or probably any of them. So this is, this I thought was really cool. See there's the United States. Hopefully you could see it. So there's texture on this side and you can use their paints or you can use inks. I haven't had as much luck with inks. I think a quality ink pad would work better, but you can emboss with that. Isn't that cute? So I got that. And of course, here's Alaska and Hawaii. It's really teeny tiny. So yeah, so you could just use those on its own. So you get some geotags of different sizes. So I can pick it up. An arrow. And then a curved arrow. So you can use these for other things as well. And another little accent of arrows. And of course, like a grid, a map grid. Isn't that kind of cool? So there's everything that you get for $2.99. So I think this will be a lot of fun to work with. Pick that up later. Let me get around the tripod. Okay, I'll get that later. Okay, so that's all I got on Tuesday morning. Not bad. Like It was like $9. And then my last stop was Michael's. And I meant to grab scissors to cut this sticky off. Because I kind of found a hidden gem. Like I think I shared with you guys while I was in the car. Um, I was looking at the paper pads. I'll go ahead and show it to you while I'm taking the sticky off. And they didn't have a lot of the cute ones that I've seen other people haul. And I really think my Michaels, I know they did it at Christmas time. They haul, hold on to a lot of things and don't put it out. So like the week after Christmas or a couple days before Christmas, they started putting out stuff that was never there. Okay, so this is a Die Cuts with a View, DCWV. I think I've seen this one. It's been a little beat up, but that's okay. But it's called Good Eats. You get 12 sheets um, with UV gloss, and you get 36, 36 sheets total. Look how cute. 
I thought this would be a lot of fun to do like when you're traveling and um, a lot of people have been having food trucks lately. So I thought I'd do a quick flip through. I don't know if you guys, I'm turning the camera down a little bit better. Here we go. If this is even still available in some areas, like I said, it was hidden. So it's double sided. So there's the pizza with yellow on the back. Look at the pretty donuts. Aren't they cute? And then sprinkles on the back. So you get two of each. And look at this. Isn't that cute for like cookouts? I have a, um, a stamp and die set that this would go very, very uh, nicely with. And then the back of that one. And then a pink stripe. And then look, all the little sweets. And all pink. And then a yellow gingham. And the back of that is cheese, slices of cheese. And then pretzels. Adorable. And then it says yummy. Or yum. Yeah, yummy. Cotton candy. And then a, a blue pattern. Look how pretty. These are little ice creams. And then a larger gingham. Little eggs. Like a little blue honeycomb. Bacon. And another orange. Look at the waffles. Aren't they adorable? And it says there's a little heart waffle. Isn't that cute? Look at the tacos. Adorable, and those look like little nachos. Isn't that cute? And look at that. So fun. And it was like four dollars, four ninety-seven, I think. Look at the pickles. Just a lot of fun. Little ice creams. Love the colors. Pink sprinkle page. More donuts on the back. And look at the food trucks. Aren't they cute? And then another larger food truck. And then cut aparts. Don't go bake in my heart. Love you a waffle lot. These are so cute. Savoring the time together. I'm kind of a big deal. Isn't that cute? Oh, love it. So you get two sheets of that and then the back side. Turn it around. So you can see that side. Aren't they cute? Very cute. So I love this. I thought this was really, really cute. So that was die cuts with the view there's all the different pages yep so this is 2017 so this one's been around for a while but like i said it was hidden amongst all the paper and the other things that i picked up they had an end cap that had some of their embossing folders and this is the one with the little cutout in the middle so it's a die cut embossing folder so these were 60 percent off so I thought I went ahead and got them for easy, you know, cards. And I just thought that would be, these would be a lot of fun and very easy to work with. So I got those. Then the last thing that I picked up were these cute baking cups. They were half off. They were $1.99. And so I got them for $0.99. Cents. But they have a pretty floral. They had matching plates and stuff. But look, I thought these would make really cute. Um, I don't know if it's two different patterns in here. Let me look. I thought these would make cute um, backgrounds to some embellishments. You know, like the rosettes. Okay, I've got two of them here. They're sticking together. My hands are so dry from walking in the yard. But look, I'll have to go in and manipulate it a little bit. So I'm just going to squish it. But won't that be cute? You come in here and cut it and then squish it together like a rosette. Isn't that pretty? I thought that would go well with some of the other um, paper collections that I have to make some pretty embellishment so you get money in here get 48 for uh a dollar so i thought that would be fun to make some embellishments with. guys that's everything that i got i did good didn't even spend all of my gift card so keep an eye out for um these random paper packs from who knows when i think this is super de duper cute just love it. I love the food truck. And the adorable. And the cut apart. So, hope you guys are all doing well. And um, stay safe. And again, let's band together, guys, and save Tuesday morning. We can do it. I will talk to you later. Bye.